She won't give them another shot to talk shit about her and their confessional. She was not going to give it to him. She's not Whatever. going, like, she's really not going to go back now. She's just. Nope. Can you she, blame her? Can you blame her? No, I can't blame her. I can't blame her. She loves her life. She loves it. She yep. just, she just is like, look, she says she looked up. She asked her mother in heaven for yep. someone. And, and he, the mother sent Louie. This is, she says this. I know. I mean, he parked the car in the bushes and then the sister yes. pushed him out and he ran yes. into her. Yes. After after parking in the bushes for six weeks, I mean, and he know. watched every episode. He admitted he watched every episode, but then he said he didn't know who she was. So, like, there. Listen, there. He met someone. I told you, someone told me that he had asked about Dolores and Teresa before this all happened, and he picked Teresa. Teresa's Dolores, yeah, a much better fit for him. Yes, yes, and supposedly now the ex-wife came on and said they both have enormous amount of energy. They suit each other, blah, blah, blah. Because listen, no grass grow, grows under either of their feet. I got a kick out of, she did a live with Melissa uh, Fister, Fister. And she was like, oh, we're going out. It's date night because the kids are away. What the fuck? This is when she's like ridiculous. Wait, Girl, who, Teresa? Teresa said, oh, we got a date night because the girls are in um the Bahamas with Joe. Girl, you're never home. What are you talking about? You're out every night. You're out. You're away. You're here. And that's fine. But don't go acting like you're the Brady Bunch home every night. You know, come on. And now you had a date night. Please stop. Stop your nonsense. Stop. But she loves Louis. The, the, Louis' son is with Gia. They're Gia. Along, right? I love like that. I love that. I think that's great that they're besties. That's really good for the kids. Those four girls have been through a lot. So to have some stability in their life and if Luis is good to them and they get along great with the with the son, I'm happy for that. I just call Teresa out on her bullshit. Oh, date night because what? Date and listen, night. Gia's got a bunch of single gals. She'll fix yes. she'll, she'll fix her new stepbrother up. Yes. I mean, this is like yes. He's everybody. Cute too. Yeah, He's he cute. is. He is. He's cute. He's cute. Yes, yeah, Louise. we listen. We're all for the kids. We're all for the kids. I love the kids. They were always respectful of me. I used to have nice long talks with them. Um, I like that Gabrielle is coming into her own, and she, you know, I they're all good kids, and I'm and, sure his son's a good kid. And Louis's wife, yes, she spoke out. I guess I think to be yeah. six, just saying, yeah. Like, you're right. Like we suit each other, but you know what? Like, like in Teresa, I get along and yes, she said, I don't have an interest in appearing on the show. She will. She said, but I will, if it's a family thing, you know what I mean? She will, if it's a family thing. I mean, listen, these producers, I'm, I mean, I'm sure they're going to want that at some point. Are you kidding me? But she doesn't understand. Oh, family, family, family. And then they figure out a way to get you to do or say something. They're and smart. They, and, and they all say they don't want to appear on the show, but I will. And then they do. And they do. And then they go, and then they go to Portobello. And the next thing you know, right. they're seated right away. And the next thing you know, the meal is comped. And the next, yes. and it's the little things. And then they see stars. They get the bug. And they then get the they bug. get the bug. And then they want it. And then they want a paycheck. And then they turn into a crazy psycho version of themselves and then they want to hold on for 10 years this is this right the i just so i'm glad that she doesn't want to be on the show many people didn't and now here we are so yep girl yep. stay true to yourself right one thousand percent but like you said they get the bug speaking and, of which uh, go ahead well i was gonna say i mean I, we could talk about jersey too did you see lisa rinna i mean if you have more to say i'm not changing the subject did no, you see no. lisa rinna was followed first of all lisa rinna being followed by tmz i'm like this woman is in she's also in her glory she I know. loves it she yep. loves listen if there were no beverly hills housewives and this was just days of our lives in melrose place no tmz would be following lisa no way lisa rinna no is way. one of the most talked about women in reality TV right now for 2022 really not more than the kardashians not even fucking close but way up there way 
way up way there. Way up there, way up there. Do you see her at the concert and people were making fun because it was somebody else's tickets, the Elton John concert. Whose tickets were they? I'm confused. I assume that, I mean, her good friend, uh, Diana Jenkins, that Elton John gave them the ticket. Oh, that's right. Remember, that's, that's like right. her yes. best friend. Yes. So Diana was next to um, Erica. That was Diana in that yeah. picture? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Diana Asher. Asher was there. Diana. Oh, nice. Erica, I went to see Ellen. Yeah, I Harry went to see Hamlin. Him. Harry Hamlin. That's right. And, I mean, listen, Erica is just, so, someone was joking, saying like, why is everyone stressed out about those earrings? Diana's going to buy them back for her BFF. She should. she should. She should. That would be a good idea. Wouldn't that... I mean, yes, uh, she wants to help out the victims and, you know, yeah, Diana Jenkins buy the earrings, Diana. Perfect, David. Oh, my God. I didn't even think of it. That's why that's why I keep you around, David. That's why I keep you around. Love you got listen. That's these smart. are right. These are fr- Rena Jenkins and Erica. These are three friends. Actual. You friends. better believe it. You better believe it. I love it. I love that idea. Oh, my Christmas tree. It's a, and I love the Christmas tree. And I like that. I like when you are friends with who you're friends with, regardless of the I show. Have, no matter what. No matter what. I agree. I so, agree. So, I mean, you know, I don't think their careers are going to be, but like Diana ain't coming back. And they No, don't, they, she don't need it. She don't need it. What does she need this aggravation for? She's not made for the cameras. She's got the tick with her lips and all, like tongue. She don't need it. Just she's stay away. A, she's having a great life now. <laughs> Absolutely. Like Absolutely, absolutely. And so, by the way, Erica is like she's loving her life. Free yeah, tickets. Why not? Free yeah. dinners. Erica's not paying for shit when she's with no. Diana. Oh, and you want to know something? If I was Diana, if I had her money, none of my friends would pay for shit. None of them right. would pay for shit. Why would I make them with that kind of money and out and giving her tickets? Why? Why do that? I would be as generous as can be. You know. I thought the seats could have been a little better. To be honest with you, I, I wasn't sure about where they exactly do. I know they were sitting on the floor. It was a little far from my taste, but oh, okay. I'm not okay. one to turn my nose up at Elton John or Diana. No, Jenkins, love, so. I loved Elton. It was a great concert. It was really great. I'll tell you, Billy Joel was great too. We need to go see Billy Joel again. I was, I'm okay. obsessed with him. I'm obsessed with him. I saw him. So like in Sag Harbor, where my house is, his house is like, so I didn't know it was his house. So like I'm walking up by one day. It's right near Dobo where we ate dinner. Okay. Okay. So like we're walking by one day and my friend who, Lisa, who lives in Sag Harbor, she's like, you know, that's Billy Joel's house. And I'm like, oh, really? I, you know, I've been here for three weeks. I didn't know that. And she's like, well, there he is. And I mean, sure enough, he was right there on the balcony watching the boats go by just How like cute. any other any other Sag Harbor, you know, not really incognito. I mean, you don't really no. recognize you know, he's up on a balcony, but I mean, right there, like you could have, you know, like he's hey, adorable. Dude. He's adorable. I just love him. You know what he needs though? He's got one eye that is a little bit closed. Really? He needs just a little bit of Botox right here. And it'll lift that eye. I don't understand why he doesn't get it. Like yeah, an Andy eye. Cohen eye? No, it's like his eye, one eye's open, and then the other eye's like this. Really? So all he would have to do is get a little Botox above. I don't know why his people around him don't, he would be able to see better. And it would be just a little shot of Botox just to lift that one eye because it's really half closed. I don't know if he cares. I know, but it's not that he cares of the way it looks, but I think he would see better if the lid was off his eye. Meanwhile, the other Hamptons resident, not in Sag Harbor, she's in 